So as you guys can see, it's packed in here right now. I only did two deals. You guys will see them. One was more value box hunting, and the other one was a little bit mix of value and some vintage mantles. So stay tuned. I might have a little more clips, but it's really hard to move around and get the uh, camera stuff into here. All right, guys, got in from the Louisville Sports Card Show. As you guys seen, this was probably the most packed show both dealers and buyers I have seen. He had every table plus some sold in there. Uh, huge, huge. Really, really happy going there today. It was so packed. I was trying to get as much footage as I can, and it was just you getting bumped because everybody's trying to look at showcases. So I want to show you guys what I picked up, but really good show uh, overall. I wish I would have stayed longer, but I had to get to the post office and do some other stuff today. But did get to pick up some nice pickups today. You guys ready to see? It has all sports minus football. I don't think I got, well, it might be a football card or two in here. Wildcat, but it ain't much. Like, nothing crazy. I was trying to look for some Hall of Fame autos, couldn't find that stuff. It might have been there and I just missed it. But two different people bought from. I found this for good old Joey, a.k.a. the Bullpen, a.k.a. CBC. A Jim Tomey a, a little patch card I'm going to mail him. But that was just in a big bulk deal. So I'll show you some of the bulk stuff. This stuff here is all going to Tom C. Just because it, grading-wise, with, with the price range of what nines are doing, just ain't worth it. So a Jordan, Durant rookie. Some cool memorabilia stuff. Katie Brown. Look at that. It's a thick card. I don't know what this is like. Piece of her bra strap or something. I have no idea. A uh, little Santos. little jockey card auto. Penny Hardaway rookie. This top's gold off centered otherwise. But this stuff was just so cheap. Um, autograph uh, from Fleer. Some warm-ups. A Stackhouse. Baron Davis. Gracie McGrady. This is a cool card because I, I should pull it out, but you could pull it apart, the card. There's like a tab in here in the middle. But Dominic Wilkins, Allen Iverson. How many people remember uh, Lawrence Timothy? Hey, this might be the only football card I bought right here now that I think about Wildcats. So if you're watching to this point, I think this is the only one. Lawrence Timmons, uh, finest rookie auto. Some NASCAR. I actually know who Carl Edwards was, so I picked up some relics of him out of 250 299 80. This might be numbered on the back. I'm not going to flip them over. Out of 400, uh, 70. Don't worry, get some cool stuff coming up. That stuff's for the Graydon Pal. Oh, throat's a little dry today. Sorry, guys. Out of 99. Uh, some golf stuff again. Different autos. Nobody crazy name, but stuff will sell eventually on to uh, Com C. Dual Relic out of 100.
Okay, we're into baseball. Let me just make this stacks right because I kind of have them in by sport. That way, when I go to push all these out to Com C, they're at least by sport. Little baseball relics. Uh, first one, Roberto Alomar. Pretty cool piece. Uh, bat piece. Steve Sachs. A little bit different. Palmero bat piece. Jack Flaherty auto. A uh, couple of Mauer. Allen and Ginter minis bat relics. Oh, well now we're into some hockey. Cujo. I think these are all hockey. It's left. Chris Pronger auto. Ooh, Forsberg relic. Leclerc. Dundee. Brian Leach, tops rookie. These stamp or stamp codes. I'm sorry. Iserman's old Opeaches. I want to say this is 87, 88. Lindros relic. Stan Makita. A uh, piece of the stick. Ed Belfour relic. Don't know who he is, but I picked it up in cheap deal. Korea. So pretty cool relics and stuff just to fuel up the uh, Ocom C stuff to get out there for sale. And then that way we have to pick up some of uh, what I call better cards on Com C eventually. And we'll do a video with that there. There's some cool stuff. All right, now for the better stuff. You guys ready? I know that was kind of boring to a lot of people. Christian Braun, Obsidian Rookie. A lot of people like him. I haven't really decided what I'm going to do with this yet, but we'll see. The album of the graded stuff. This here's Collector's Choice Gold Signature. Raw, I found a couple of them doing over $10, as high as $16. I've seen a couple do like $5 and $6. But it looks to be gradable. We'll see what happens. If it comes back to 10 Maybe we'll throw it up on auction on our own eBay page and see what it comes out to. This is from Fleer Authentics and Michael Jordan Wizards ticket. Hoping it gets a nine onto it. Another Jordan card looked pretty clean. Hopefully a nine, no more eights. This is a little sneaky one here. Westbrook rookie from SP Authentic. PSA tens do one thirty six. This I got for two dollars. So give it a shot. One of the bigger cards I bought today. I know, soccer, the other football. Neymar Auto, and it's all on sticker. I had to, like, really look at this because it, like, that bottom edge there I thought was not, well, now I can see it in the camera. There's definitely space. I'm thinking of just getting the auto graded on this because there's a little bit of a white corner in the back, but it's numbered out of 10. Neymar. Oh, now I screwed the focus up. My bad. Sorry, guys. Let me try to get it back. But Neymar, that's probably the biggest card. This here, a Stanley Cup card back from the, I want to say this was the 60s. These graded sell very well. $2, what the heck. Tom Brady score rookie. This is not the throwback. This is the original onto it. Um, I had to show the guy the price ranges onto it. We agreed on 70 for the card. So I I'm taking a chance. I'm hoping we can get the 8 onto this because then it makes some money onto it. A 7 would break me even. We'll see. Mickey Mantle, 59 tops. Does have a ding corner up here, but the centering onto it's really well. A 3 was doing, I think, around 300 onto this. I paid 250 a little bit strong. But it's Mickey Mantle. His stuff will never go down onto it. But he gave me a deal on the rest of this stuff if I took this at 250 So the 58 All-Star... I banged this up against my graded one. Sorry, hitting the camera. That's the only reason why I left this out from the other video. I looked it over. I mean, other than this top corner, they're pretty similar into being a four. We're going to see if we could swing the four, because I think this one here had a corner issue two somewhere. Kind of hard to see. But we're going to see if we can get a four onto it. Mantle Aaron, it had a kind of like a scrape into here. It's probably going to come back PSA 1. But Mantle Aaron, I'll take a chance. I know it was dirt cheap. And then the Willie Mays was really cheap too, 58 All-Star. So those were my pickups today at the show. Um, like I said, nothing real crazy, but getting some vintage is always nice. And then some of the, I would say, modern versus ultra-modern or brand-new cards. 
But being able to find stuff like that just to take a chance on to see, you know, if it grades out what we can really get onto it. But this stuff was really, really cheap into the deal. I said, what the heck? And I picked a couple of the other ones out too, just as, eh, we'll see what nines do onto it since they were real cheap cards. This was the big boy out of the deal. Uh, I know his stuff sells well. It depends on the card itself, if it's all on sticker and all this stuff. Because I had a couple of bigger soccer guys that were walking around, and I showed them, like, well, that you got that at a good price. So this was sneaky as well, too. Like I said, the Brady, we'll see. Then some vintage, of course, to get graded down the road. But overall, good show. I uh, wish I could have stayed longer. I was doing more chit-chatting than anything, I guess, walking around and digging through value boxes, trying to find stuff for Com C just to send out to it. But, yeah, it was a good show, good crowd, good tables across the board. You did see a lot of the same cards at every table, all that retail stuff that comes out. Trying to think if there was anything. I took some pictures of stuff that I was looking at. You guys should have seen those in the beginning of the video. Along with a few, uh, what do you call it, video snippets that I had of a couple tables where there was like nobody around. I was trying to hurry up and get some table footage for you guys. But really good show. Really good. Really happy with it. I won't be going to another show. I don't know if I'll hit Lexington end of this month. Uh, might just be waiting for J&J &J All Star in Louisville next month. We'll see how I feel in the month. Uh, Lexington's really, really hit or miss. And last time was a miss, and I'm thinking maybe this next one might be a hit. I'll have to see what other shows are going on. Better that, guys, coming out, we'll do a Calm C January recap. I didn't buy a whole lot. I think it was only two cards I purchased last month on there, really. Uh, did some sales on to it. Talk about, you know, where they're at on... Uh, getting, you know, order submissions through, stuff like that there, in case anybody's ever interested in doing Calm C. At least you get some current fact stuff, at least from my end on to it. Better than that. It was fun. I enjoyed time talking to a lot of people I haven't seen around for a while uh, at the shows, because this was really the only show going on for a good distance away. So, good crowd. Alright, guys, that's it for me. Let me know what you guys think of some of the pickups, as always, in the comments. But I'm out.